Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm up here at the hub. Uh, this is in the Santa Monica Mountains. There's a beautiful new um, restroom up here that's solar powered and uh, perfect design, really wonderful design. Down that way is the San Fernando Valley. And over here is a nice place to sit and look out over the mountains. And way over here is Cathedral Rock. You can see it peeking over that hillside there. And here's the road that goes on to uh, Trippet Ranch over this way. And uh, and here is an here is an interesting thing here. There's a little oak tree here. I think somebody planted it a while back. And it gets uh, very dry and dusty sometimes here in the Santa Monica Mountains in the summertime. So it's hard for a young oak tree to survive. So what happened is some people came along and they planted a little sign that looks a little bit like this one. This is just a replica. They planted a little sign like this. Please give me a drink of water. And so the hikers that came up here for the first few years they would stop by, and I guess that they stopped by and gave, when they were taking a drink of water, they gave the little oak tree a drink of water, too. And you can see that it's gotten very strong and um, perfectly formed, and it's in a beautiful location for this, for the hub. And so I just thought, and then it came along a year when the sign was taken down, and so I thought I would bring a, I made this little sign here, just to give you an idea of how it used to look because there are lots of little oak trees through the Santa Monica Mountains that have been planted. You can see them lots of times in wire cages. And those oak trees need your water. Lots of them die for lack of water. So this is a reminder about, about all of us as we hike along the trails, thinking about our newly planted oak trees more well established than this one and help them out with a little drink of water in the summertime. Of course in the wintertime it's just fine, it's not necessary. Look at this, here came somebody by, they saw the sign and look they put a little water there. Thank you sir, thank you very much. <laughs> Have a wonderful day you too. <laughs> I'd like to speak on behalf of the David Council while I'm here. Finding, finding folks who will water the oak trees and so forth. <laughs> um, for a long time, humankind has, has kind of ignored nature and manipulated nature and, and destroyed the natural balance of things um, by, by just ignoring uh, the sacredness of, of, of these natural places. And so, I just like to say that on behalf of the David Council, that that I feel that, that that humankind needs to take up the challenge of of um, a soul correspondence with the natural world, and so that it, so that humankind all over the world can blend in with the natural flow of things, and and help help Earth to heal now that we're now that we're moving into a higher dimension. And one of the things that we can do every day it comes through the power of prayer and, and visualization and affirmation. We can, we can always say once a day, even getting up in the morning. <sighs> There's a lot of bees around here. <laughs> um, we can say I that we hope that the Earth's magma and tectonic plates uh, gracefully ease. And this means that, basically it means we hope that there won't be many severe earthquakes as Earth continues to balance the incoming light and the forces uh, from beneath during this process. So, so what I say is, uh, I, I, I say a prayer for the graceful easing of Earth's tectonic plates. And um, 
and then the purification of the waters all over Earth. And while, while we're doing that visualization, we can visualize the water of Earth in all its different forms. The underground aquifers, the rivers, the streams, the lakes, the oceans, the seas, and so forth. Huh.